Pastor Erin is going to pray over her for um, all that. So take it away. Thanks, Greg. Uh, first off, thank you so much for coming out. I'm Tara Gundrum. I am biking. Well, I started at my house this morning in West Bend, and I'm headed to D.C. Um, I'm doing this to raise funds for the 9-11 Memorial Education Program so that the kids uh, will continue to learn about that day and never forget and be able to take uh, field trips and things like that to the memorial in Kiwasco. So uh, the journey itself is about 1,080 miles, uh, averaging about 62 miles a day. Um, I do have some host families that are taking me in, seven in a row, uh, so that's going to be pretty amazing, um, where I'll be just kind of posted by them eating or staying at their home. Uh, there's a stretch where I will be hoteling it and camping it. Uh, once I get to Pittsburgh, I have three nights of hotel while I, while I join the Black Girls Do Bike National Meetup. And then from Pittsburgh to DC, I'll be on something called the Gap Trail, right, Allegheny Passage, and the CNO Trail, which is the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal Trail. Uh, I will camp the entire way. Uh, once I get to DC, I'll take the Amtrak train back here, and uh, a small group of folks are gonna meet me down at the Amtrak station, and we're gonna head up to the Kiwasco 9-11 Memorial, and that will be the final end. Uh, that is September 3rd. There will be a celebration there, food, fun, entertainment, um, and that'll be from five to nine. So that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, let's, let's give it a round here. Can we do that? Hands on we'll pray for Lord, we just thank you, God, for the opportunity to be able to come and just stand around our sister, Lord. And I just pray, God, first of all, I pray, God, that you just give her strength, uh, God, as she's going to do something that that uh, is uh, just pretty amazing. I, I just pray you put a hedge of protection around her and you would just be with her. I just pray, Lord, as she's on this journey, you would just speak, God. This, these are times where you show up in amazing times. Change of pace, change of place, change of perspective. God, you do something amazing when we step out and do what you've asked us to do. I pray, God, for safety. I pray, God, for a uh, hedge of protection. I pray, God, for uneventful travel as far as just very e ease uh, is uh, beyond the, the normal distractions and, and obstacles that she's going to face. I just pray, God, that this would get a lot of traction. Lord, that this would open a lot of eyes and uh, supporters and people, not just uh, here in this area, but nationwide. God, as you open up a door and a platform for her, I just pray God give her voice and give her, give, give, give her the message that she needs. I just thank you, Lord, for the opportunity. Thank you for all these friends that are here today, and we will be praying for her until we see her again in September. Your blessings be upon her and upon God upon this. Lord, we thank you for this great nation that we live in, and we thank you, Lord, for the men and women who serve and individuals like Tara who stand up, who serve this country, but help us not to forget. In Jesus' name, we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, day one of my big trip uh, at the High Speed Ferry. I've gotten in 40 miles so far today, uh, started at my house, went to my church, Germantown, in, uh, Life Church in Germantown, and now down here at the Lake Ferry Express, heading over to Muskegon, Michigan. Uh, super excited, had a little bit of a um, little drizzle rain today, nice and cool, uh, overcast, no hot sun and humidity. So day one has been really, really good. Uh, helped me get my legs back under me, uh, being on a bike that's heavily, heavily loaded down. There, there's my baby right there. Um, I still don't know how much it weighs, probably like it's definitely 100 plus pounds. But uh, at any rate, I uh, just wanted to check in. I will let y'all know what happens on the other side. All right, guys, uh, good morning. Start of day two. Uh, just leaving Muskegon Heights, headed to Grand Rapids today. So I had an amazing host family last night. Uh, Winnie and Eric and their beautiful little daughter, Tony. 
Um, I slept so good, got off to a late start, uh, but hey, that's what it's all about. Uh, right now, I'm on the Mosquito Wa Trail. All you locals, hopefully I didn't say that wrong, but gave it my best shot. Anyway, it is beautiful. Uh, quick peek here. Yeah, so I'm on this for about another like 26 miles before I start getting into like residential business district. Um, I'm hoping to stop by the Boys and Girls Club in Sidemen, close to where I'm gonna be staying tonight. I think it's super uh, important to try to meet with some kids, tell them what's going on, tell them about the ride, tell them about why it's important, why they should have access to resources, and uh, also tell them how awesome it is to be out on a bike. You know, show them hopefully a little different perspective of getting outside and kind of burning off the crazy and enjoying the great outdoors. So I will check in with y'all somewhere around lunch and uh, ride safe. All right, hey folks, I'm here with Tim from Grant, Michigan, and he is out on the Muscatawa Trail. Um, he stopped to tell me where the next grocery store is, and I was like, man, I could use a banana, and guess what? He totally hooked me up. So thanks, Tim, so much for just being an amazing person on two wheels, and I will check in with you folks. Well, hey guys, so I just stopped for a little break. Um, I've been on the Mosquitoa Trail and um, headed towards Grand Rapids. Just like was super, super hungry early on. There was like nothing around the trail to grab. So um, I was chatting with this guy. I was like, man, is there a grocery store around where I can get a banana or whatever? And um, there was something like seven miles away and he literally gave me his banana and it was so delicious. So thank you, Tim, for hooking me up. And uh, now I just stopped in Conklin, uh, yeah, Conklin, Michigan, and there's this little grocery store here. So I just had a burrito and some tea and uh, these little like really, really good cookies. Um, I don't know, they're whatever they are, they're delicious. So um, yeah, I got about another, 15 miles before I get to my destination for today. So just taking it easy, enjoying the trail and loving all the support and the good uh, motivating messages of encouragement and all the prayers that are going up. So thank you all and uh, I'll talk soon. All right, guys, so I went to sleep last night without recording the recap of day one and two. So here it is, I'm doing it in the morning. Uh, at any rate, just a real quick recap. You saw the video. Uh, I started out my trip with uh, a 20 mile ride to my church where I, they did a lovely prayer send off. I mean, really just put me in the feels and um, completely inspirational and really let me know that my journey was underway and I had the almighty by my side. So that was absolutely amazing. Uh, friends, church family all came out to uh, celebrate the send off and uh, off I went. Um, I took a couple of trails, local trails. I went on the uh, Inner Urban Trail, the Brown Deer Trail, and Oak Leaf, Oak Leaf Trail, which led me to the Lake Ferry Express. Uh, hopped on that, which uh, starts in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and heads over to Muskegon, Michigan. Um, while I was on the ferry, I met this really, really cool couple from Muskegon. Uh, actually, uh, two couples. Uh, it was a group of four, and they were doing like a little circle tour where they went from Muskegon to Ludington, across on the SS Badger, back down to Milwaukee, and then back across to Muskegon on the Lake Ferry Express. So that is a trip that I've actually done, and it was really, really cool. I did it with my husband, and I totally do it again. 
Um, so at any rate, they were super chill. Uh, then I met this woman named Lily from Port Washington right down the street from me, super awesome lady. Uh, we, we just had a really great time on the ferry. Um, when I got off the ferry, I went to my first host home in Muskegon, Michigan, and that was uh, through a site called warmshowers.org. So all of you cyclists out there, if you've never uh, looked up warm showers, look it up. I mean, it's just a beautiful community of folks who enjoy hosting cyclists and sharing stories and just welcoming them into their home at whatever capacity they feel like. So it could be as minimal as you can sleep comfortably in my yard and use my water hose, or it can be as extravagant as uh, here's a spare room, you can sleep, I'll cook for you, you can enjoy conversations with my family. So warmshowers.org, check it out, totally amazing. Um, after uh, enjoying a lovely dinner, uh, my hosts, uh, Winnie and Eric, uh, they had a beautiful little baby girl named Tony. Um, they made me fresh shrimp fried rice for dinner. We had great conversations and then I slept in the most comfortable bed. It was like really, really comfortable. Um, slept so hard that I didn't want to get up the next morning. Um, but at any rate, after lollygagging a bit, I got up, got at him, um, and headed towards Grand Rapids. So, uh, the Grand Rapids journey was pretty unique. I mean, it was pretty cool. I ended up on the, oh my gosh, Muscatawa Trail. That was, I've been saying it wrong all video, but it's Muscatawa, I think. Uh, at any rate, I was really, really hungry and I did not do breakfast because I was lollygagging so much. So ran into this cool guy named Tim on the trail. Uh, he hooked me up with a banana and a granola bar and I really, truly enjoyed it. Um, so that gave me enough energy to kind of go like 10 more miles. I mean, I was like really, really, really hungry that day. And um, I stopped, had a burrito, cookies, uh, a tea, um, just kind of ate like a horse. I was really, really hungry, but uh, off I went. And uh, that got me about another 15 miles. And I stopped and I asked this kid, I was like, hey, do you know where I can get like some really good Mexican food? Cause I was in the mood for some guacamole and chips. And he's like, no, I don't have any idea about Mexican food, but I know where you can get some good fried chicken. So. He had my attention, led me down to Four Brothers Chicken and Fish, and that was really, really, really good. It was kind of one of those spots where all the locals, you could tell, they were calling their order in, just swinging by, picking it up, and taking off. Well, um, I had about a 15 minute wait, so I left my bike leaning up against the wall, set up my chair, started charging my stuff, and I sat right outside and ate my chicken and it was super good. Um, I don't know folks if they thought that I was like homeless and looking for money or if they were just like super confused cause I was eating outside of there. But at any rate, they kind of did the big like circle to get around me, like kind of looking, kind of curious, but didn't want to ask any questions and didn't want me to ask them for anything. So uh, that was pretty interesting that way. Um, so from there, I kind of took the residential route down through Grand Rapids where I got to my second warm showers host, uh, Diane and Skip Obermeyer. They were absolutely amazing. I mean, this couple was in their early 80s and they just welcomed me into their home. And uh, Diane was so cute. Like after I got in, she showed me the whole house and everything. And she's like, this is where you'll be staying. Like, here's the bathroom. You wanna take a shower? Um, and then she's like, dinner's at 6.30. And so I was pretty jazzed, you know, I was able to get cleaned up, get comfortable. And then Diane was like uh, setting a table. I mean, this was a huge table. I should have taken a picture of it, but it was set for 12, uh, actually 11 adults in like a little uh, high chair at the end of the table. Um, every Monday night, their family gets together and they have a dinner at 6.30. I mean, this is family and friends and like uh, the daughters and grandkids and nieces and whoever's available. It's an open standing invitation. And she made like the biggest bowl of chicken salad I could ever imagine. It was so delicious. At any rate, I could talk about food all day. But anyway, that couple, super amazing. I really enjoyed my stay there. Um, and my sleep was phenomenal. I mean, uh, they're doing it right, folks. So uh, warm showers again, plug, check them out. They're amazing. Uh, and if you're already using warm showers, donate, warmshowers.org, love it. Um, all right, I mean, that's the night, that's day one and day two. Um, I will check in with you guys here uh, tomorrow. Not really, it'll still be today, but you'll get it. All right, peace.